screen. Okay, so I am Lauren Brzezinski. A lot of you know that at this point, and let me hide every, okay, there we go. Um, a lot of you guys know that about me at least. I got married in 2011, so um, gosh, eight years this summer is kind of crazy. I did not grow up thinking I was going to be a beach body coach. That was the last thing. I didn't even know that existed. It didn't exist. Um, I grew up thinking I was going to be a teacher. Literally never had another idea in my head other than I'm going to grow up and I'm going to be a teacher. And so um, I went to college. I did all the things right. I got all the good grades. I went and I got a degree in English, um, went and taught a year in the high school level, did not totally love it, but just kind of assumed it was one of those newbie things where I just had to like kind of get in a groove. Um, and then the second year I went to eighth grade, still didn't love it. Um, and it wasn't the age group. I actually liked the eighth graders more. Um, which still surprises me to say that, but I still was like, this is just not where I'm supposed to be. And it was just really funny because, um, I went through, like you can see right here on the slide, I started teaching in 2012 and I had a miscarriage in 2013. I was within my first couple months of teaching. Um, and so when you go through a tragedy, Every, your entire life gets like completely changed. Everything takes on a new meaning. And that's exactly what happened to me and my husband. Um, he was a teacher at the same high school that I was at as well. So we were both teaching at the same school. And I actually got a call um, during parent teacher conferences that my pregnancy test had come back positive at, from a blood test. And so then a week later we went to the hospital. We were so excited so nervous, all, you know, all the feelings. And then when we got there, they were like, I'm so sorry, it doesn't have a heartbeat. And so, I mean, complete roller coaster of emotions. Um, so I, we obviously like just freaked out and you don't really get like time off just because of something like that. It's not like a true medical issue, you know? Um, and it's not really like a death in the family. They don't really know how to classify it. So you don't get any time off for that. So I had to go straight back into the classroom, just trying to figure out what was the beginning and what was the end of the day and just trying to figure all that out. And so, um, teaching just was like, it, it finally like hit me. I was like, this is not like, this is not what I'm meant to do because I had always kind of thought I was going to have kids and then I was going to be a working mom. And I was cool with that. Even, you know, like that was just something I always thought I was going to do was be a working mom. And I was totally fine. I like working. And, um, but after that, I was like, uh-uh, no way, absolutely not. So then we ended up having another miscarriage by the end of the year. And then finally, in 2014, um, we got pregnant, and this one was healthy. Like, I, I just knew in my heart of hearts, like, this baby's going to make it. I'm going to hold him. And so sure enough, he came in December of 2014, and you better believe, no matter what, I was going to make sure I stayed home with this baby. I fought tooth and nail for him. Um, and so it was during that time that I learned that I did have a nutrition um, problem. And that's where, that's where I started getting oriented to health and fitness and nutrition. Um, basically, if I don't take a very specific supplement, I cannot grow babies. And so I started learning about real food and whole foods and, you know, all the bad things we shouldn't be eating and all that stuff during that time period and during my pregnancy. And so I, I knew about health and fitness. It was one of my passions because of that, but you can't really get a job. At least I didn't think so. You couldn't really get a job in that unless you went back to college and I was not going to do that. Um, so then I ended up having him. I quit my job, my job six months later um, because, you know, you had to finish out the school year. And what was funny about that is I was absolutely in love with being his mother and staying home with him and that was a non-negotiable but at the same time I love like I said I love working I just do I enjoy I enjoy goals I enjoy working and so I started battling a little bit of loneliness a little bit of like not failure but just kind of a sense of purpose I just didn't have that as much as you know I had before um obviously being a mother is a huge purpose but um I just lacked that that end goal kind of feeling um and so I started battling a lot of issues just loneliness, a little bit of depression with that postpartum hormone swing. You know how that goes. Um, so in September of 2015, I began this as a challenger. So after all of these like different 
things, it led me to this. And a friend was, was my coach. And she told me, she said, um, I think you need to look into this as like a career thing because you would be good at it. And I was like, of course you think I'd be good at it. Cause you know how this is a recruiting type structure. So I was like, Oh, of course you think that. Um, and so I get on, I get on a call like this and start looking into it. And I'm like, well, I know for sure I want to do the fitness part of it. So sign me completely up for the fitness part. So I signed up as a challenger. I did the 21 day fix like to a T. I think my only cheat that whole three weeks was raisins um, and a little bit of chocolate chips, but I love Shakeology. I felt like a million bucks when I was done. And so I was like, okay, I'm all in. I want to share this. I want to do this. I was clueless just to be clear. I had no social media presence at all. I sucked at that. I still kind of do. But anyways, I've just really, really needed help in that area. But I just gained so much community, which was some of the loneliness I've been battling being a stay at home mom. Um, just a second. Make sure I'm getting some background noise. Um, so anyways, I, I gained that community back. I love the challenge groups. Um, yeah, I mean, there was just no, no doubt. And so here was my first um, round this where it says day one and day 21. That was my first round. Um, and then below that is another picture. <laughs> just a funny side note. When I signed up to be a coach and started my first challenge as a coach, um, I found out I was also pregnant. And so I got to start my transformation all over again. And so that's what that second picture is. Um, and that kid really threw me for a loop. It's way harder after that second kid. Okay. So now you know about me, like, that's great. That's, that's my story with coaching. You're all going to have your own story with coaching and how it came in at just the right time for you. But here is the history of Team Beachbody. So, um, okay, hang on a second. And this is the part I didn't know until a long time after. So it was actually founded in 1998. And it's still the same mission today is it to help people live more healthy and fulfilling lives. And it was John Congdon and Carl Deichler who founded it. Um, the actual network, so the team beach body, the network marketing portion that we're all a part of began in 2007. So we have like a nine year difference there. And the reason why is because initially like it was, this was just a fitness company and they did a great job. But what happened around 2007 was you had all these people who were doing these workout programs and loving it because that was like the height of P90X. They were loving it and they were actually creating their own challenge groups, um, some on Facebook and then a lot were just kind of on forums on just random websites. And so the network actually began in 2007. And it actually began because so many customers were reaching out to Beachbody saying, you need to figure out a way to get us to sell this because we're already doing that for you anyway. Um, and so they were like, okay. So that, that's when they launched the, the network marketing portion of it was in 2007 because it was just such a process. So then after that, Team Beachbody Live launched. And that what that is is where you can actually get certified in certain programs like T20 or Transform 20 that just came out you can now get certified to teach that program in a gym. So that's one really cool thing about um, Beachbody that I, I really like. I actually got certified in Pio and was able to teach that in a local gym. It didn't work with my schedule, but um, it was really fun while I did it. So yeah, we are the creator of P90X, the 21 Day Fix, Body Beast, Pio, Turbo Fire, Size, T25, like so many groundbreaking programs are from our company. Like anytime, Someone's like, so who do you work for? I'm always like, you, the company that created P90X, and they're always like, oh, okay. Like every, it's a household name. Everyone has a set of those DVDs set in somewhere, especially here in the United States. Um, now, as far as like products, obviously I'm just gonna go give you a very quick overview of those. Shakeology is our dense nutrition shake. That is simply, the, the goal is to get nutrients in our body through superfoods. Um, we also have the Ultimate Reset. That is a complete 21 day cleanse, which I am eyeballing. I have not actually done that one yet, um, but I'm eyeballing that one hardcore right now just because I feel like my body needs it. It actually takes you into being vegan for two weeks. So it really, truly gets your body just down, it strips it down to just vegetables and healthy fats. And I'm really excited about that. The three day refresh is just a quick three day kick your sugar habits kind of thing um, where you can just get back on track maybe after a holiday or maybe just, you know, maybe three days before your wedding, you may want to do that just to kind of slim off any, anything else, but it's done in a healthy way 
where you're eating food the whole time. You never stop eating food. Um, we want you to nourish your body and not just strip it. Um, we have the Beach Body Performance line, which is our recover protein drink with branched chain amino acids. Um, it helps build and recover muscles. And then we also have Energize, which is probably our best seller right now. It's the um, natural caffeine supplement that doesn't give you that, that drop at the end. And then we have our boosts, which are like power greens, um, probiotics, extra things you can add to your shakes to just really get some more health benefits out of them. And then daily sunshine, which is our children's shake. It's actually more of a snack. And uh, my children personally love it. And we love it because it's, it's dairy free. So it's good for our son who has dairy issues and it's loaded with vegetables and fruits. So really amazing products. The, the goal and emphasis is on keeping them clean and trustworthy and knowing exactly what's in them so that we're fueling our bodies with things that are good for it and not things like soy and fillers and sugar and fructose and things that companies are really good at hiding in their products. Um, so yeah, Beachbody has tons to offer. I'm really, really proud to work for this company and work with this company. All right, so what do we as coaches do? So you know about me, you know my story, how it all kind of came together. You know how Beachbody was formed and why it was formed. But what does a coach do? So we as coaches, we support our clients as they learn and incorporate Beachbody fitness and nutrition programs. So just like we once learned how to do them, we also walk our customers through that process. Um, we just basically say, here, like watch what I do and you do it too. We run online accountability and support groups called challenges or boot camps. And then sometimes we also coach clients one-on-one -on -one whenever the, uh, the boot camp scenario doesn't really work for them. Sometimes people just want to be checked on. And I do that with a lot of my clients. Um, you can teach Beachbody live classes at gyms if you're certified. But really the biggest thing we do is we just lead by example. We're always admitting that we're not perfect, that our life doesn't go as planned. Um, like here in these post examples that I have, um, you know, like sometimes we eat the cheesecake. And what do you do after you eat the cheesecake? And so we lead by example, showing people that you can, you can eat a treat and you can continue to still see results as long as you continue going back to what you know is right. And so that's all, that's all we do. We're not perfect. We are not, um, I, what I really love is, is we're not all at our goal bodies, um, whatever that is. Um, we're all at different parts. And so we're going to, we're going to attract the people that need us most. And so that's a, been a really cool thing I've seen with this. Some misconceptions. Um, these are my favorite. I love the misconceptions because um, they are what made me really dig and understand this company. The first one is, is this a pyramid scheme? So just to kind of quickly go over that, a pyramid scheme is illegal actually. Um, it's where money is exchanged, but there's no goods exchanged. So basically you'd have somebody call you and say, hey, um, if you want to be part of this plan, you know, give us $500 and then you call two people and they give $500 and basically you're just, you're literally scamming people out of money. Um, the next two kind of go together. This is a scam and the products don't work or they are overpriced. I was actually talking with a friend today. Um, I went to a vitamin shop here in town, like our health food store here in town. And I was getting the vitamins for our kids and some for me and Josh, but I was like shocked because it's been a long time. I was like, I haven't gotten vitamins in a really long time, just FYI, total transparency here. And I was like, gosh, my kids need vitamins. So I went in and I, and I was looking and I have, like I said, just because of our products, I have very high standards for what we put in our bodies. Like I want clean nutrients, I want real whole food products. And so I was looking at vitamins for my kids and for a 30 day supply for one kid, it was $35 um, for like the vitamins and nutrients that they need to, to have on the daily basis from real food. And I was like, oh my goodness. And so then I started thinking about Shakeology. And if you look on the back of Shakeology, you'll see all the vitamins and nutrients that you get from that, from whole foods, because everything in Shakeology is a real food. And I was like, oh my goodness, like if I tried to piece together this shake, I would be paying like $300 on my own. It would probably taste like crap if I'm being totally honest. So Shakeology, I was like, I, it was kind of reiterated to me. I was like, oh my goodness, like it's insane what we get in that bag. Like they are, they're doing the process for us. So it saves us tons of money 
um, by having it all in one shake. Um, and they actually made it taste good, which is insane because I don't know how you, there's, did you know there's mushrooms in Shakeology? I don't know how they make it taste so good to have like mushrooms in there, but they rock it. Um, another thing that people don't like another hesitation that we have is like, I don't want to sell on social media. I want to tell you right now, if you're a coach on our team, we will not be selling on social media. I didn't know. I never, ever want you to like show a product on social media unless you have a darn good post to back that up. Um, that makes people run the other way. Like you probably know that. You can think of a friend right now who's selling something and involved in something um, who you want nothing, like you want nothing to do with that because all of a sudden her post went from her kids and her dog and her husband to like skincare or shampoo or something, or maybe even a shake. Maybe she's a coach. Um, and all of a sudden it was just product all over her page and, sh and she kind of lost who her identity in that. Um, that's not what we want. We want you to be you and we want you to show how our programs and how our accountability groups and how what coaching has done has made you a better version of you and not that you have just become a product. By itself so don't want you to do that and um, I don't know what to post on social media that's another thing good news is we have training for that so if you're a coach on our team you've probably already been put into our training group um, and we have lots and lots of training on that now it's not to say it's gonna come easy at first but after a while you'll start really seeing like what kind of themes you like to write about and what kind of things you like to share with people um, I call it I mean I, I call it my soapbox but I try not to make it drama if that makes sense so um, just whatever it is that you're, you feel passionate about, like whatever you feel like you're learning at the moment, whatever you feel like you're struggling with and how you're overcoming that, like that's what people want to read because they're doing the same things. So it's really, it's just about being honest and authentic and um, vulnerable to a certain extent and just sharing honestly. The next thing is yeah, that you have to be on your phone all the time. I'm a mom of two little boys, four and two years old. And I, the last thing I want is for them to grow up thinking that mom was on her phone all the time. So I am very intentional. Now, not every day. I'm human and I'm, I, there are days where I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to put this thing up. But I'm usually very intentional where I try to wake up early before them, get my posting done, get my connecting done. And I'm going to send invites that day. I send my invites for that day. I'm, I create some stories and posts, do that before they wake up, then do that again at nap time and then do that again at night. And so I, I have little pockets in the day where they are not seeing me on my phone all the time. Now, do I still sometimes like text or message someone randomly while they're with me? Yes, but I'm not letting that be like my focus. Um, usually I will actually put my phone away for like three or four hours at a time um, while I'm with them and you know, during dinner time and all those things. So you will learn how to schedule your time so you don't become a mom zombie on your phone. And then the last thing is I don't have time. Um, there are going to be seasons where it's going to be hard to make this business work just because you're going to be stretched and you're going to be stressed out and all sorts of things. But I'll just let you know that when I first started this, um, I, well, obviously I had a 10 month old, I was pregnant, I was in grad school and I, then I went into an internship after that second child was born. Um, and that the grad school was actually an hour away. So two days a week I was driving to another town and dropping off my kid and going to my classes and doing homework for that. And it was insane. And my husband and I look back and we're like, how did that happen? And in the midst of that, I was still growing my business. Like it continued to grow just because I stayed consistent and did the things that the tracker sheet told me to do, um, which aren't hard as long as you're intentional about it. So if you guys don't know about the tracker sheet yet, um, that's in our coach training as well. All right, um, hopefully you know this part already, but I'm gonna share anyway. How do you earn? You earn, no matter what you sell, you'll earn at least 25% commission through that. So if you, and this is where it gets really cool, it's actually more than that on most things. So like if you sell the Beach Body On Demand for $99 to someone, you actually get like $38, I think. So that's almost 40%. Um, so it's actually more than that, but the least you'll get is 25%. You'll also earn through challenge pack bonuses. So if you sell a challenge pack, that's more than 25% as well. Um, and that's honestly our best value for our customers. And that's the one I always offer first is a challenge pack. That's where we bundle Beachbody On Demand plus um, one of the nutritionals like Shakeology or the performance line. 
so they save a lot of money, like $80. And then you'll also earn through Star Diamond bonuses. So once you hit Star Diamond or above, once again, that will come later, you'll understand that later, you'll just start earning extra money just because you're here and you're showing up and you're being consistent. Um, which is really, really cool. Once you start learning how to lead a team, which once again, that will come with time. Um, don't let that scare you. I didn't start leading a team until I was like two years in because that's just not when I was ready. Um, but anyways, once I did, I started seeing extra income pop up that I was like, hey, that's not a commission. That's just extra on top of my commission. Um, so that's really, really cool. And that happens. And then you guys have all already joined. So know that you're getting 25% off your products. You're paying a $17 fee. Um, and just to kind of let you know that 17, that 16.95 fee, um, if you're in the United States, if you're in Canada, it's, you know, worked out for you guys to be the same equally for you based on your dollar. But um, that is what I call my overhead for the month, which is tax deductible, by the way. Um, but like, that's what I'm paying and I gladly pay that for the people at headquarters to deal with all of my problems. So if a customer doesn't get her package on time, they call headquarters and take care of it. Or if a customer um, gets the wrong flavor, not my problem, I get to tell them to call. And of course I help them, obviously, I'm not just like brushing it off, but the good news is I'm not worried about shipping, I'm not worried about um, keeping inventory in my own home and all of that stuff, like they do that for me. And so that's who I'm paying to do that for me. And so that's how I look at that and I'm like, gladly I will pay. $17 a month for someone to take care of all the shipping and the te technological issues and creating an awesome app for me. Like, yes, you take my $17. It's awesome. All right. Here are the three types of coaching options. You can be a discount coach. Um, this is what I was like the first few months. Um, I just was trying to learn and figure things out. And so I was drinking Shakeology. I didn't really make that many sales but I was still saving $16 a month on my Shakeology just by being a discount coach. So that was still fine with me. I then moved up to a hobby coach. Um, once I started feeling really comfortable with the business and feeling like I believed in it. Um, Cause I'll be honest, it took me a long, I really researched the heck out of this company before I trusted it enough to make it a business. And, and I mean, pull people like you into this because I wanted to make sure I wasn't like, like I said, earlier, I wasn't scamming anyone. I wasn't pulling anyone in on something I didn't believe in. So when I finally did do my research and realized this is an amazing business opportunity, I jumped into a hobby coach. And then as I felt like I was growing in leadership, I went into a business builder. So those are your options. Um, the business builder is the one where you're going to make an income. Um, a hobby coach is going to be someone who is usually like breaking even or making a little bit more than breaking even. So you're going to have a little bit of extra spending money by being a hobby coach if you're doing it consistently. Um, but a business builder is where you're really going to start seeing like a, an actual income that can take the place of something like a teaching income or something like that. So here's an actual look at some of the coaches on our, um, upline team. So this is, oh my goodness, I can never pronounce her name. It starts with a P, but it's like Paula, but it's not Paula, but I'm going to call her Paula. But she started off her first summer with $89. Like that's all she made the whole month of July. The next July, she made $1,700. The next July, she made $2,100. And then by the next one, she was making $4,500. So you see where the consistency builds. That's what I'm talking about. Like, even during my crazy grad school and internships and two kids, um, it just, it still continues to grow as long as you're showing up. And this is Kim. Um, she started in, sorry, here, the blue dot. She started in 2016 with $190 was her first weeks paycheck this is weekly on hers and then here in one week she made four hundred and eighty dollars in 2017 and then in the same week in 2018 she made sixteen hundred dollars in one week so that just once again just consistency continues to build as for me um and this is actually like i could give you my i need to go and pull out my january one um but july of 2017, I made $708. And then the next year, I was making $1,400. Um, this year, I'm already starting to make over 21 or over 20, yeah, $2,100 each month. And so like, I'm expecting in July, if I continue to stay consistent like I am, that it will grow to even more. I don't really know the exact like number to throw out and project there. But 
Um, that's more than I made teaching, just so you guys know. So um, you guys are in New Coach University. You have weekly team calls. Those are on Fridays at 2 p.m. Central. Um, you have access to the coach training on the back office. You can have a one-on-one -on -one call with me anytime you want. Like literally do not hesitate to send me a message and say, hey, I just really need you to walk me through a scenario or help me figure out how to invite or just what program I should be doing, just whatever. If you guys ever want a one-on-one -on -one call, just send me a message and I'll schedule that with you. Um, you have access to any of our resources and docs that I've ever created. I will send those to you if you um, want to know how I run my challenge groups or you want the access to use my posts. Let me know and I'll get you into those groups so that you can use those. Um, we always have trainings from top coaches in our organization, but really it's just a really fun community of women that really cares about each other. I'm loving watching you guys just really, really grow and run with this. So I'm going to stop share. And then if you guys have any questions, um, you can unmute yourself and you can ask. Nothing is stupid. There is no such thing as a stupid question. And that, by the way, is record timing for as fast as I've ever gone through that, just so you all know. I actually have a question. Yeah. I've been approached now from probably four people that um, I'm like, I'm a new online coach and they're like, is it Beachbody? And I'm kind of stuck of what do I say? Is it okay to say, yeah, I'm a Beachbody coach yeah. or... Do I kind of stall and be like, I'm an online coach kind of thing. Like I'm kind of stuck because yeah. I did those, that 14 day training, but it also kind of, you try and detour from saying beach body or shakeology or whatever too. So right. do I be forward with them and say, yes, I am a beach body coach and this is what I do kind of thing and kind of carry on my conversation. Yes. Good question. That's a really good question. So in our posts, like if we're making a social media post, I don't say that I'm a beach body coach. I don't say that I'm doing 21 day fix. I'll say I'm doing like a 21 day shred program or something. Um, and I can explain the program, but I don't want to say the actual name. The only reason is not because I'm being shady and I don't want them to like know, but I don't want them to just go Google it and buy it themselves because if that's what they'll do. Um, they, it, it seems safer to them to do it that way. So I want them to ask me about it at least. So once they are messaging you, it is totally fine to start saying, yeah, I'm a beach body coach. It's the 21 day fix. Here's what we're doing. That's fine. But you want, you just want to make sure that you establish a connection with them before you give them all the answers. You know what I mean? Right. Um, yes. Yeah. So yes. Totally fine to say, yeah, I'm with beach body and Here's why I'm with it, you know, if they ask about that and then okay. um, go from there. So, yes, you do not have to be, we're not, we're not trying to be sneaky. The mm -hmm. only reason that we don't say anything in our post, like we don't name drop in our post, is just because they'll go and Google it without us and we want them to come to us. But other than that, yeah, you can share all about it as much as you want. Okay, and I have one more question. Go for it. Um, I have a couple friends that are already on Beachbody mm -hmm. and say they kind of want to support me. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Like, I don't know how to get them to come over to one of my groups that I start up. Say if I'm doing 21 Day Fix and they want to come join me, how mm -hmm. do I go about doing that if they're already signed up and with another coach? Okay, so here's, my, here's all I ask. Yeah. Everyone who signs up with Beachbody is assigned a coach. That does not mean that they are committed to that coach. So for example, um, when you start hitting success club and you're also an Emerald coach, you start getting what's called paid leads where people who do just go Google 21 day fix and order it. Um, that goes to a coach out there, um, to get the commission. So sometimes I'll go to my back office and I'll have two or three orders of people I don't know. I reach out to them. They usually never reach back out. That's just, they just don't. Um, and I just let them know I'm their coach. But if they get like, sometimes I'll see them disappear. And so what I know has happened is they connected with an actual coach that they really wanted to be with and they switched over and it's truly no skin on off my back. Like I, they were free in the first place. Okay. Um, so you can actually get people to switch over to you. I always, though, I always make sure that they're not like working with someone that they want to be working with. 
Right. So like, right. So like, you know, it's cause sometimes they're like, Oh yeah. Like I signed up with a girl four years ago and she quit. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like let's switch you over then. But mm -hmm. if it's like her cousin, it's like, oh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go there. So yeah, if they want to switch, then absolutely. Um, okay. I'll send you the, after, after this call, I'll send you the link. The and then what if they already have like the containers and already are signed on? Do, like I can't, okay. do they purchase that's, another? That's a good question. Um, so some coaches are die hard, like you have to have Shakeology or a, an order to be in. But if they already have an account, as long as they have an account, I just let them in my challenge groups because the idea is that even though they've already paid and I don't get that commission, the idea is that hopefully that next time, because I mean, there, it'll, it'll renew at some point. The goal is that when it renews that, then it will be your commission based off okay. of that. So you're still it, a customer at some point. Does it renew every year? Yes. Beachbody on demand renews once a year for for us, it's $99 and we get about 40% of that mm -hmm. I, for you guys. It's not too much more, maybe 119 or something like that. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. You're very welcome. Does anyone else have the flu? I know our team is dropping like flies with the flu. No, that's good. Let's leave that there. All right, you guys, um, if you don't have any more questions, I'll go ahead and end the call. I did record this, um, so if you want the recording, let me know and I can send it to you. Um, but other than that, I guess, enjoy your evening. Happy Monday.